What's up, everyone? I am Extra Eric, and welcome back to another episode of Pop Off, the show where I pop off all about the biggest topics in pop music with my super fan friends. Today's episode is beyond exciting because we are diving into Little Mix's new album, Confetti. And joining me in today's video, we have American Mixers, Nick and Mike. Tell me why you have your background. Let's all share. We have some glorious masterpieces behind us that we just had to have. Nick, share with I mean, us. This was the moment that I knew Confetti was going to be the moment because I not disagree. Bitch, Jay turns around with those assless chaps <laughs> in the <laughs> Sweet Melody video. Honey, she was like, here's the fifth member of, of Little Mix. Done. Liv. Mike, I know yours uh, is the Confetti era, but we'll let you know. No, I'm, I'm playing homage. Homage. To homage. Uh, homage. Yeah, homage. To Glory Days power music video with Alaska Courtney Act and Willem. And I'm sharing my one of my favorite performances from the era so far, which of course is this masterpiece. This when they came out in the boxes, spaceships, honey, taking and her thing again when she did the. <laughs> yeah. How does she do that? Her I head and know. neck and shoulders are must be like dislocated or something because she, she moves her body in a way. She has a good uh, chiropractor. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to wait any longer. I really just want to dive into this because I have been listening to this album nonstop and I'm very excited we waited about two weeks to do this because I know I've been going back and forth with you and I like to sit with an album for a while. And I'm very glad that we did that because my opinions have changed since we started, but I'm going to kick this off and I'm going to say a very controversial statement that I know a lot of people so far don't agree with. Confetti is Little Mix's best album to date. What do you think? I'm going to say second. I it's not my fave, like not Gloria is my number one, but I think this is going to be their fingers crossed American breakthrough album. I think this is exactly what they needed to do to get big here. What do you think, Nick? Yeah, I feel like this is definitely much more marketable. They're like very catchy beats, like very pop. Like LM5 was very like, like not soulful, but like a lot of soul soulful? music. Not like soulful, like the cat. Does motivate soulful? <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> there was like soul in the music, I feel like. Whereas like, like these songs are like something that comes on and you listen to it a couple times and you're like, I have to listen to this in the shower every day, yeah. every night. Anything you're doing, you're putting this on. So I, I agree. I think it's like going to be very uh, easy for Americans to get into. I hope so like I but do we actually think they are going to get into it on this one that was going to be my follow-up question to this because i was dying laughing the other day because leanne's mom was tweeting at columbia the the u.s label being like this is arguably the most successful era they've yeah, had where's the there. american promo yeah mm -hmm. modify enough to break this no we need a gay club we need vaccine and we need to like i need <laughs> <laughs> and I need to hear confetti and like then like I think you give it a club moment which it will very much get and like a gay club a spiral from there well like so when Biden got elected and like everyone was in the middle of yes. Times Square like friggin mm -hmm. they had this oh I was yeah. sitting there I'm like okay great this is like the push they needed like people are like oh who are these sexual <laughs> beings and these like mm -hmm. star-studded leotards but like I've been like going to drag shows and having queens like do wings, do power. Like Jan Sport, like before she got famous, like three years ago maybe she was like in like clubs in New York and like she would do wings. And this was the first mm -hmm. time I was like, oh, people know about Little Mix, and it's not just me being a freak and just watching Black Magic on. I feel like repeat. some of them are just those older singles that actually had the push behind them. Like yeah. as Leanne said in Truth or Wine, like I've kind of hit it with salute. Like I'm kind of getting there with just the same things over and over again when they yeah. have a massive library yeah. of box that we could be playing with, True. especially for drag performances. Like move, why does nobody, I, every single pregame I've ever hosted, I'm like, we're watching the move video and we're learning this choreo and everyone needs to do a drink in you know each turn. Like mm -hmm. I try to get people into the old stuff, the oldies but goodies. We still play Touch. Like, Touch oh. to day is still, like, top 10 songs we play all the time at a pregame. And, like, even down to the music video. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it when Leanne said it recently, too. She was like, I was listening to Touch the other day, and that really is a tune. 
And the a thing bomb. is, like, if you're trying to, like, throw your bussy on the floor, you get, like, the OG radio edit great. <laughs> but if you're trying to, like, do work or, like, clean, you just put on the, like, acoustic version. And it's like, mm-hmm. oh, this is, like, another the life of the same song. Yeah. <laughs> In slow motion. <laughs> yeah. But you just have blue lights on instead. Mm-hmm. We're talking mm-hmm. way too much about these past albums, though, when we really <laughs> yeah. need to be focusing on the glory that is confetti. And mm-hmm. I will highlight it. I know a lot of other American mixers so far that aren't that crazy about this album i've mm-hmm. sent it to a few people at work in the radio industry and they're not as thrilled about it mm-hmm. and that's yeah. what's scaring me about it yeah i mean you know my friend who i always listen to music with he was like i don't really like it and i'm like i was like oh i really like it. he's like of course you do because like i was such a <laughs> for them and i'm like even like breakup song like even the singles i'm like loved them love yeah I was going to say, I don't know if maybe that's what kind of deterred this album from hitting its full potential as of yet, because like with COVID and everything, they released like Breakup Song and clearly COVID hit like literally the day mm-hmm. or two after. And so they had to <laughs> definitely like, I'm assuming they had to reschedule their promotion timeline and whatever. And they released basically half the album as singles before the album. Always. So it's kind always. of that. Always. They're never it's not. Like, always. It's like that thing where it's like you see a funny movie commercial and it's That's like all the, all the funniest <laughs> parts of the movie are in the commercial. And then you're like, oh, why do I see the movie? But I feel mm-hmm. like this still had some good ones but i was like oh i all the ones i really like were released weeks before the full album no i'm the complete opposite i thought and now this is my con another controversial statement i live for breakup song and i think breakup song is like the true mixer like you Mm. if you are a mixer you appreciate breakup song but if not you kind of don't breakup song and holiday aren't very confetti to me I okay. wish, I actually, I don't True. wish they were cut because I love them so much, but I just don't think the sound connects with the rest of the album. Holiday specifically, like I think yeah. as the first two songs, yeah. they're not indicative of what's next coming on the album. And if the album kicked off at Sweet Melody, like that is mm-hmm. how you open an album. And I also think like the 80s vibe of Breakup Song was it definitely overshadowed, off. but also like, there was... The weekend release Blinding Lights, which literally has almost the same exact under track of the like the eighties like That's a good call out. Driving in like whatever that car is. I don't know. Sorry. Not mask, <laughs> but like whatever. You know what I mean? It's like wrong that same crowd, wrong yeah. crowd, <laughs> not the yeah. audience. And it's like I was like, Oh, I feel bad because everyone's doing this damn TikTok dance to friggin' blinding lights. When I heard that TikTok, I was like, Oh, mixers and then it's not it's like not the song. You know what I mean? Like I feel like it was yeah. the first two singles definitely got overshadowed. So. And Dua came out with it at that point. Future Nostalgia, iconic yeah. as always. But that came out yeah. the same time. Yeah. Um, Ellie and AJ dropped. Chromatica. Uh, Joan of Arc on the dance floor. Chromatica. Mm-hmm. There was it so was... much. And I thought that's where we were going. Yeah. And I'm very happy we didn't go there. But it just, I feel like Breakup Song and Holiday threw off the rest. Mm-hmm. Because once we got into happiness, happiness is Bitch. really the, oh. <laughs> it is the underrated <laughs> bop of this album. Every when time I, I listen to it, that is the, the Wembley Arena song that you are listening to. I'm like, when dead. I want to listen to a Little Mix <laughs> song, I'm thinking, like, I want female empowerment. And by female Always. empowerment, I mean gay, every other person on the queer spectrum empowerment. Always making it about yourself. <laughs> Correct. First <laughs> okay. me, and then me. <laughs> but then, like, I also want to feel good, regardless if the storyline is something sad or, like, whatever. And you know what I mean? It could be mm-hmm. a roller coaster of lyrics, but, like, if I'm feeling happy, that is my little mix tune. So, like, for me, happiness, like, that gives it's it every to me, bitch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I love, like, a, a sad little mix or, like, a type of era. A moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, like, I love a mess. Happy for you. One of my... Oh. You know, like, I love that. Like, but don't I, you feel happy, for- too, when you hear that? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, like I got like both, and which is like I'm so here for that. It made the first time I listened to it. It wasn't one of the songs that like connected or hit I know, me, like I was really so quick. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell you that I was like the song just isn't doing much room, but I did say I was like I know this is going to be the song that grows, mm-hmm. and I think this is the perfect segue into what I want to talk about next. So that grew into one of my favorite songs on the album. And so far, I would have to say my favorites, ones I would want to shout out. If You Want My Love, immediate number one. Love. Immediate. Yeah. Confetti, absolutely at the top, which I think is also like a serious club bop. Like mm. that is what I want to hear in the club. That's the one I find myself listening to most and most is confetti. Yeah. And I don't even think 
gay club. I think it's like a general just oh club. Victoria's just Secret everybody. fashion show, like that type of a moment. You know what I mean? Could like you imagine? I mean, we don't really like stand Victoria's Secret anymore. You know all the <laughs> issues with <laughs> transphobia, whatever. But like, yes, that type of a stage, I see that arena style like moment, mm-hmm. and I'm sure their mm-hmm. tour is going to have the most amount of confetti. Oh literally just flying on I every single person. In any show, let alone <laughs> Little Mix confetti. Yeah, seriously, and I need a bodysuit and a thigh high boot, like right away. <laughs> oh, just yes. like your power background there. <laughs> also, rendezvous, absolute shout out. Gloves up, absolute shout out. And this is why I was saying before, I feel like the singles lived for them, but the rest of the album tracks yeah. just far surpass everything that comes. I also feel like nothing in my feelings or nothing but my feelings brings me back to like. On every album, they have this secret song that's like very coy, mm-hmm. very innocent. But then you mm-hmm. take like two seconds and you're like, oh my God, this is like a <laughs> sexual awakening. And I missed that, it at first. Oh, bitch. I was like, oh, this is like a cute little whatever. And then you're listening to it and you're like, oh, she literally is telling her man or whoever, mm-hmm. like, you better come over and you better get this because it's I waiting for that. you. Oh. Just like shout out to Beep Beep, uh, my other favorite. I know um, that's the one you were referencing. Such an underrated song. Beep Beep. They I mean, don't like it that much. But then there's also, what's the other one that's super sexual? Um, from I mean, Glory Days or from n- Get no, Weird, I think Adidas? DNA. Oh, Adidas. That's what, that was it. Yes, bitch. Leanne's rap in Adidas. Mama. You want some of that strawberry? Yeah, mama, oh, it I'm makes me here. Gag. What are your favorite songs so far from this album, Nick? I want to know. It's tough because, again, I listen to happiness when I'm, like, working out to get motivated, when I'm, like, feeling tired. Motivate. Yeah, bitch, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, every single feeling that I'm feeling, I can listen to that song. But I feel like Gloves Up is such a pump up for me. And it makes I love me... Gloves Up. When they're gloves singing, I can, like, game. imagine the music video. I can imagine the, like, the, the outfits yep. they're going to wear when they perform. Like, the whole nod to, like, the, the, um, like the boxing. Boxing like, ring. Yes. I, that's, I, that's like, what I'm looking for. I a want... girlicious like me moment, if you yeah, get the reference. Yeah, I'm looking, like, for, like, yeah. I want dirty, at dirty vibes. Oh, I'm yes. Holding, like ringer cards like walking around yes like, or like an, okay, an Ari girl. side to side when she had that whole like hot pink like pink whatever yes. you know like that the boxer moment. short uh the, yes, yeah, like the boxer yes, short yes. the everlast I'm always thinking the what is the video going to be what are the visuals going to be and when i hear gloves up i'm like this is going to be That's a it. powerful mm-hmm. friggin visual so yeah speaking of like, video we we have to call out sweet melody here your backdrop. Uh, touch touch 2.0. I mean, I'm not even going to put it into the same ballpark because I think it blows touch out of the water. Jay's no offense. Ass cheeks are literally the fifth member. They're actually like, <laughs> the, the, who, the winner of the search. They're not, they're missing a couple tour dates. <laughs> September? Yeah, these are the opening to the, to the show, honey. Let me tell you. Jade has snapped this era. There's something about it in every moment. They have just, she's snapped, I think, more than anybody oh. else. Leanne is probably the, cl- the next second in that. Sweet Melody itself, I feel like, was the turning point of this entire album cycle. Oh, like, we fully, were just getting, fully. we were getting good little mix mm. up until then, and then that happened. Yeah. Your background happened, and it yeah. was a cultural reset. And it took Gen Z, who may not really know Little Mix, and they were like, oh, transitions. Oh, TikTok. Yes, I want to watch yes. this. Like, I want to follow this. And yeah. That little I, thing. Yeah. I've yeah. never wanted a collab more than with them and Tinashe. Mm-hmm. Like, imagine, like, a save room for us and this moment, Sweet Melody. Yeah. Everybody served in it. All four of them equally in the fire. And I they just, learned I've never this been so in, like, happy. two days, apparently. The choreographer was, like, on Insta and he was talking about and I was like, these did. girls do not sleep. That's the thing that I honestly like, whatever, I can sound like a, a loser right now, but like the thing that I love about them is they do everything. Like they give everything. their entire fiber of their being to their profession. Mm-hmm. And they're not just like a singer who's like a talking head and you know, yes. like the company's pulling the strings or whatever. Like they are the boss bitches. And like, I mean, not another pop song, honey. They're like Simon Cowell, goodbye, ma'am. Out of here. I know, I loved that. We love the shape for everything, but no, it literally was the turning point of this yeah. whole era, I feel like. And yeah, then moving into yeah, confetti, so. uh, you know you mentioned before that it had blinding lights undertones on the other song. You know mm-hmm. what it um, confetti gives me? When you listen to the opening, it's Cassie, me and you. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, yes. I remember you told me that. And then oh, I played it wow. after. And you know, right? I had another one of these moments with um, If You Want My Love. There's like yes. an in sync song. They yes. literally just and- went into the library and they were like 90s <laughs> beats things. And I'm not mad for it's it. Like I am so I'm so happy you said that. So early 2000s. Yeah. And it's what's funny is it's boy band 2000s. Yes. It's not girl band. It's boy mm-hmm. band. I love that she called out, I forget in the recent interview she said it may have been with Capital, but she, um, Jade was saying it was like Lisa Scott Lee of Steps, like Samantha Moomba and saying, you know yeah. what? If you want my love though, literally is the, the same as, do you remember the group five when the lights go out where it's like, baby, when the lights, that yeah. is what if you want my love is. And those, they're also those from hits. the UK. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So true. Which is why I think it can be such a strong US album because it's like familiar sounds. Like mm-hmm. people oh this gives me that this gives me this and what's so great too, without ripping it off by the way i say this off, only like, with positivity oh, yeah like it's so familiar that but it's like so refreshed that it's like oh i'm ready to go back to that moment there's no feature and like i hate like yeah i love the nikki feature in the last one but like we don't need it i don't want them to break i mean i need it i but, think that was but, they like, were they were trying to through with the feature I think that was their moment where they were like, oh, if we get Nikki, they've wanted to have Nikki for so long. But they're like, oh, if we get Nikki, everyone in well, the US would be like, oh, we love them. Mm-hmm. Like if Nikki chose us, cause like Nikki's not just gonna feature on anything. No, like, exactly. And, but then like her and Cardi got into that fight. Did you see when they were like spilling the receipts? Cardi was like, bitch, they wanted me. And, they, and Little Mix literally made an <laughs> no, entire post where they were like, Cardi, no shade, but we always wanted Nikki. I was just the like, queen. Oh, mama. Oh. Nikki is <laughs> the queen yeah. of yeah. everything. Yeah. No, but th- when they posted that video of the receipts, like that is a national holiday to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. so good. I, I'm Connie pretty sure you responded to it. You, I posted it and you were like, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> How does Confetti stack up against the rest of the albums for you? Because I know I said that at the beginning, I believe this is the best album. It's also my favorite. Glory Days was it before, but this to me is so much more mature. There's so much happening. The sound is so unique and what mm-hmm. they actually provided is just next level in so many different ways. And I feel like it's everything we've been wanting from them and like this growth pattern. And that's why I love the album so much. All of my other American Mixer friends have been dragging it because they think LM5 is still it. LM5 for me, what, you know when you listen to an album and it like hits you? LM5 never hit me. It has its Same. moments. It's like One Direction's four. Like that album, I love One Direction so much, <laughs> and I'm not trying to drag any shade here. Oh, no. But that album has some of One Direction's best songs, but it's mm-hmm. by no means their best album. And I think that's exactly what LM5 is. You're talking Forget You Not, Motivate, Monster and Me, like more than words. You're getting all the hits, but there's a mm-hmm. lot of filler. Nick, where do you stand on that? Yeah, I tr- I do think this is one of their best. in. Re- oh, but the thing is, it's like, it's hard to compare because like, if you think back to like, dna get weird like just their voice they were like 16 and 18 like perry didn't even have her like surgery to like clear out her like tonsils or whatever like her voice is so yeah she commented on that the other day so it's like it's hard to compare because it's like you're asking me to like look at my homework phone but i want you to compare i want to know okay fine you're Um, popping (laughs) up i want to know i do think because you can tell that they are under different like management and they're more in control in this album so for that reason i will agree with you and say that this and glory days to me are like their best there's Um, clearly a switch with this one that i think is very evident and to the point that you said about feeling something, maybe that's what I was trying to say when I said soulful, of like, I'm listening to it and it elicits emotions in me, you know? Like, whether yeah. it's like super happy, whether it's like feeling myself, where it's like, I'm gonna mm-hmm. bop my bussy, the chance that I can go back to a club. Someone's um, throwing that bussy around a lot. Bussy gets all over the place, sweetie. She's, <laughs> she's this right here, right here. <laughs> but yeah, no, I do, I really do think like, it's the, the songs are complex without being, but still, like Too we much. said, like, yeah, you can like take it in and you it's like so easily palatable, but like it's there. The, the layers are there in the songwriting and in the production value. It's like, it's not one note, Everything. sis. Yeah. No, yeah. she's multidimensional. No, <laughs> yeah, Mike, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think, like I said, like it's definitely like Glory Days and this, I feel like are so up there for me in exactly the same way. Like I look, listen to Glory Days and I feel something. I like get what yes. I'm serving. It's exactly what I ordered. You don't need to bring it back to the kitchen. <laughs> Like this is how except like two songs on Glory Days yeah, as much as yeah. I love it, <laughs> but the couple. But like that's why 
like LM5, like didn't really give it a re-listen after its first drop. And like confetti, I've been like bopping it the mm. whole time it's been dropped. Like, it's so like, easy to listen it's to. It's just so, and like you said, like you can go to the gym, you can pregame, you can listen to do work with it. It's like, mm-hmm. do you think they're going to have extras? So, like with LM5, there was like the deluxe that had those couple of extra songs. Which I, I want it. I want fire. the deluxe. I, 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 I want see something. Sweet Melodies with like a remix and like a rap feature. And mm. like, Sweet, Sweet Melody is primed for that. Yeah. I'm hoping but like this like album like to that. me is like the perfect mix of salute and glory days mm. and then with like a touch of like what they're doing new it's just it has the power but it also has the pop and like the mm. power is key like see me now is so much of like a gloves up moment for me that was like one of my favorites i know people don't really like that song off salute <laughs> We're getting I, the harmonies of About the Boy and Boy. We're getting mm. all the power pop of like... I missed just one thing that I was excited for that I didn't get, which is like, I'm not upset about it, but could have been happier, let's say. Like, I remember the time when it was like, Jesse was the beatboxer, Leanne was the rapper, like, mm-hmm. uh, Perry was Everyone the belter. Was yeah. And I love that they all f- like flip and flop and everyone's a verse now. So happy for that. However, I just would have loved a Leanne rap moment, right? Just like what you're saying, the Adidas like yeah. rap moment. Like I love just sometimes because like, Leanne is just like such a good. The way I she, live it's for not Leanne even rapping. Snap. It's like it's mm-hmm. it's musical. I love her. I know. She offers I love, so much. <laughs> I love when Leanne gets like the spotlight. She is so. And that's, I think for me, the biggest thing, LM5, it was very clear that they were like, okay, Perry, you can't be the only one getting these big, loud, you know, belting moments, which was fine. Mm-hmm. But I think with this album, they found the correct mixture of like putting everyone where they really like excel. And it's not mm-hmm. because like in, I guess it was That's a great DNA, way of putting it. You know, it was like DNA or salute. Like you're saying, like it was very clear. Everyone was like, "Oh, Perry, this is your best way to like do this." But yeah. like, yeah, just go, girl. <laughs> but like, Leanne definitely has the chops, and Jade has the chops to do these big moments. And like, Jesse's always had that like low vibrato, like whatever mm-hmm, you know that, tone. Yeah. The raspy so, voice. I live for Jesse. I love I, a Jesse moment more than anything. Yeah, I feel like this album they definitely got it right with everyone kind of playing their own part, and it's not the same equation in every song. It's definitely yeah. different. And I love that we got the ballad too, because when I was mm-hmm. listening to it, I'm like, we're getting power song, power song, power song, and I'm like, is that moment gonna come? And need the ballad always. My love won't let always. you down is the most beautiful thing I have ever listened to in my life. Oh, it's like a Leona Lewis moment for me oh. in so many ways. And Mike, you know it's going to be a wedding song. <laughs> but like, thinking of you crying to the song, like, kills me. Uh, yeah, like, um, seven I hours ago, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I know you said you're not the biggest Positions fan, but here's my, like, my thing I'll make is that this to me, it was the POV from Positions. POV was this, like, emotional, slow ballad that, like, for me, that song on this album is my like, okay, I'm gonna sit in my feelings. I'm having of... trouble grappling that. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, tell me why. I understand where you're going, but mm. there's something missing for me. I don't know what it is. Let me think. Okay. Mike, comment while I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was trying to interpret too, cause like I, I, I'm not a big positions fan. I know, Eric said. <laughs> um, so it's fantastic, I... it's flawless, but it's just, it's just good. Yeah, like, I love a little mixed ballad. Like, I was looking for, like, like you said, like, with this, like, I get very, like, secret love song acoustic. Ugh. I'm getting, like, that. Sans Jason Cerullo. I yeah, see Jason no, Derulo. I don't know why I just said it like that. Yeah, with no Jason Derulo. Sans like, Jason I, Derulo. I love, like, when they take, like, I love a ballad. I'm, like, such a soft girl mm. that. So I love, like... I was looking for one too, because like you said, power song, power song, power song, which I'm here for, but I want to hear them sing. I want to feel, mm-hmm. sing. I want to be like crying over an ex from four years ago. I want it all. And for I no reason. I want to be crying for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> the, the message in that song though, it, to me is like, n- not powerful, but it's like the fact that they're upset like, but they're literally telling this person, like, I will love you no matter what. But it's I'm like, to each other, though. Did you not uh, know that? Yeah, it but makes, it's, that's what makes me sad. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm that glad they, killed me. I'm glad that, that that's like, what got I don't have that, but it'd be nice. <laughs> You're like back With like to a group tears. of people. Friends, who, who has those? Oh, All right. Yeah. What are our closing thoughts 
on confetti what what does the world need to know what do you need to get off your chest about this album stream it like <laughs> stream promo confetti. it promo well, it and give us give me a tiktok dance give us put it like mm. t- like we need a tiktok challenge i the rendezvous I yep. was kind of nervous. This is not necessarily my thoughts, <clears throat> but I was nervous that they were having problems, like that they were getting early numbers that weren't good. Because I don't know if y'all saw, but like RuPaul posted about it, Ms. Yeah. Michelle Massage posted about it, and I was like, "Honey, no one ever gets those people to like promote and an Pop album." Brave has been posting about it too. But I'm like, I feel like they have such a huge fan base, they wouldn't need that. But maybe again, this is their attempt. Like, RuPaul's Jay getting on. dragged for fracking, though. Fracking. Yeah. Is <laughs> well, well right I'm now. wondering <laughs> also too. They're filming season two and three of Drag Race UK. He, the other two are probably guest. If he does not do that again, or like give them the lip sync song yeah. or something. Yeah. Jay, so there's gonna be some type of confetti moment lip sync probably for season three. Yeah, Jade mm-hmm. Jade being on that episode of Drag Race UK <sighs> with the power as the lip sync song, I was like, you could not write it. Everything. Could not Everything. write it better. Everything. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are, thank God that they gave this to us because especially, obviously, in this time, everyone's, like, having a whole of a time. So, like, yes. I'm glad that we have it. Um, but I'm nervous that they're kind of hitting this point of, like, this is our sixth studio album. Where do we go from here? We started a TV show, yeah. reality competition. And I'm happy mm-hmm. that they're able to be so multidimensional and not just, yes. like, we're just gonna whatever. So my hopes are that, like, this isn't the end. Because maybe that's the smallest part of sadness I got with this. I was like, oh no, is this, like, the last big album? Or, like, are they maybe thinking of doing solo careers? I know they always say we would never do that. But but like, mm. I don't know, like they're I think they're on late that, 20s. Yeah, same sis. <laughs> don't come for me. Don't come for me like that. <laughs> I feel like this is a fresh start in so many ways because the process just seems so effortless. All of the promo, like this just happened so organically. And I feel like for years they've been stuck. I feel like from almost like Get Weird, they've been stuck in a way because I know they had to rewrite that album a lot and work mm. with everybody on that to really just get the third album out and then glory days was like the high point and i feel like with all the weight that's happening from the past few years and all the drama and everything i feel like they just needed like a fresh start and like that's what this is it's like a new launch pad to go from yeah i agree with you i don't think this is like the end i think this is the end fantastic song by the way (laughs) also please That you want to, if you really want to cry, bitch, that's the one. Yeah, I, I think I'm all out. I, stream it, promo it, do whatever you can, buy it. Buy. Literally, buy the tickets when they buy go the on merch. Board. Buy the merch, sis. Thank you all for popping off in this video today. We've done our due, dil- due diligence as American mixers trying to promo this however we can. If you are watching and you want to see us pop off about another topic, put it in the comments. Let us know your thoughts. What did you think about confetti? I just need to go listen. Until next time. Enjoy. She's going to come get you. <laughs> <laughs>